Hi there, I'm showing Unified Service Desk, which is an extension of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Um, you can see that in this CRM system, I have the typical sales and service uh, options that you would expect to find. And then also under settings, you can tell that this particular CRM system has been extended with Microsoft's Unified Service Desk. Once I go into Unified Service Desk, it provides kind of all the different areas where you can configure the behavior of Unified Service Desk or USD. Um, here you'll see hosted controls, which are another way of thinking of web pages or different pages or uh, things that the agent might need to interact with. Um, you have toolbars that you can configure, action calls, uh, so when an agent clicks on a toolbar item or on a page, what would happen? Uh, different events and so forth. Lots of depth here on what you can do with Unified Service Desk, uh, along with you know user-specific settings and different configurations for groups. For example, like a sales group and a service group could have different configurations for Unified Service Desk. Now I'm going to pull over the Unified Service Desk screen, as you would see it once you've done the configuration, um, you get a screen that looks something like this. Uh, this is just showing uh, one account. Uh, you can see the different toolbar that we've created here uh, with a home page, um, kind of a collection of work that's been a queue, a search screen, and so forth. Um, in here, you'll see this concept of a, a session. A session is one or more different screens that might be related to uh, one particular call. In this particular case, I'm showing Alpine Ski House here as the account that might have called in along with a open case or trouble ticket and maybe an order for like a return shipment of some sort. Um, the interesting thing with sessions is that I can uh, go out and search for a second account. For example, if I'm wanting to uh, handle a chat while I'm wrapping up on a call, for example, um, and I can maintain all the information that had uh, screens and cases and so forth that were open from the prior one, at the same time now start a second collection of screens related to a second account. So that was talking about a little bit about the toolbars that I can create um, and then the sessions, like a session for Alpine Ski House and its information uh, summary and so forth, and then a second session for Blue Yonder Airlines with its account detail information and maybe some secondary web page or pages that I might need as an agent to service that client quickly and efficiently. Um, notice one thing uh, on the side here, you have sesh, what they call session overview lines at the top corner. Um, just tell us a little bit about the account, the phone number, email. It could pull up uh, payment status. Uh, this section is whatever information that would be helpful for the agent to see at a glance. It could be compiled from any collection of screens. And then there's a uh, scripting thing that happens where you can help guide an agent through a particular process or sequence. Uh, like in this case, maybe we want when the account first calls in, want to verify the account name, email address, and phone number, maybe address, so forth. Um, and then once I've verified it, I could maybe create a new case or um, do additional actions, create follow-up. Uh, these are all things that are configured in each environment. The next thing I wanted to talk about is um, UMAX. So this section, this gray section down below the agent scripting area is uh, our version of the MAX agent. Uh, if you've used the MAX agent, you'll know that this looks fairly familiar. Um, I can set myself available or unavailable. I can connect my agent leg. Uh, I have all my call history information of who's called and so forth recently. Um, new schedule and so forth are all pieces of functionality that you might be familiar with if you've seen Max before. 
By having Max embedded directly inside of USD, uh, it enables some really interesting business flows and use cases. I can start interacting between Max and all the different things that are in Unified Service Desk uh, to get some really smart behavior. Uh, the typical things like um, screen pop or click to call, those are the obvious ones, but you might also have uh, additional flows that happen um, with calls um, as far as like how do I get intelligence with the call and uh, with data dip, sc smart screen pops, and kind of really flowing out the agent's workflow that involves all of the CTI um, components along with all the richness that's in the database all combined in one place through USD. The next thing I wanted to show is just what happens when an inbound call comes in, how USD searches for the call based on their ANI, um, then will allow us to pop the screen and then start taking kind of on that interaction. Uh, once we've completed that interaction, I'll show you what kind of an outbound follow-up would look like and then we'll be finished with this uh, quick overview demo. So to simulate a call, I'm just calling from my Skype phone client and I'm calling into a phone number that we have. Please press one any time to speak to the next available agent. So I'm pressing one and you'll notice immediately that I have the call indicator that I have one call in queue here from Max, but my agent leg is unavailable. As soon as I set myself to available, a couple of things will happen. Um, I'll get this dial pad. In a, in a minute, you'll hear my cell phone ring, which is my agent leg. There it's ringing. And I'm going to accept that. And then I'm connected on my agent leg, connected to my caller. And notice that I'm, I've gotten a multi-match on the screen pop. I've got two phone numbers, one that's an account, one that's a contact that was the um, phone number from the number that I called in from. Um, I went ahead and hung up the call just because I was getting feedback on the presentation. Uh, and you'll notice that once the call has taken um, and hung up, I have the ability to disposition the call and um, wrap up the call like I would normally do. Thanks for the call. Uh, and then once I save and close that, um, I've dispositioned the call just like I would normally. However, that call now is actually available as a CRM activity um, posted back to, and you can see it's already listed here, thanks for the call, um, as something that's interacting between the MAX agent and the CRM screen. Um, coming out the other way, so if I wanted uh, now to do a follow-up action, I want to call back the phone number that had called me and maybe continue the call or whatnot, I could simply click on the phone number inside of the CRM interface. It will uh, Query CRM in the Max agent. It'll ask me for a skill. Uh, I'll be able to correctly skill the call and then do my outbound dialing uh, as needed. You can see the Max agent's working. It's going to be dialing my agent leg. Hear that ringing? Uh, I've connected my agent leg, and then in a second, um, my Skype window will open, and I'm going to go ahead and mute that so I don't get feedback this time. Um, and, and now I have, I'm going to go ahead and hang up. Um, now that's demonstrating kind of the outbound side. And this time I'm going to say we made a payment. Thanks for the payment. Um, and, and that's kind of a quick demo of Unified Service Desk and our UMAX agent that is kind of a first class uh, control that lives within the Unified Service Desk framework. Thank you much.